Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're doing a vintage cube draft here. I got Michael, Michael McSchmeichel, Pikel, Michael. Start on twin. Hope for the best. Is it? Do you think it's weird that your parents named you Mikesicle? And like no, they, because they didn't. And you just call yourself Mike. Is that weird? It's not weird because it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen regularly, but it happened once when you were born, right? No, it hmm. never happened. Hey, um. <clears throat> Splinter Twin? Grim Monolith? Grim Monolith's probably just better, because, I mean, if you miss, it's bad. It is. It's, it's definitely the best around. Ooh, Thrain Dynamo? Misha's Workshop, too. That'll probably table. Let's take this Thrain Dynamo. <clears throat> Let's send him on down to Brown Chow. Oh, Metal Worker! Oh, we're doing it. We're sending him on down to Brown Town. Metamorph? Metamorph is Brown Town City. You're not even looking. You don't even care. Force of will and force of negation. Double force in this pack. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever gone outside and had to... Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> wow. My opponent on the uh, river, yeah. instead of checking, mm -hmm. because he has an option, he just folded. Before why I wouldn't even, you like why wouldn't you just check dude these dudes he literally are just gave me the, i mean he would have yeah. folded anyway because i would have raised but, but you don't still. know that he right. had no idea yeah that's that's hilarious. you're just giving a wait was there a tinker in that last pack or are you just getting excited about tinker all right we're taking golos here for sure we need an academy yeah what dude we're getting there all five of these picks are <laughs> phenomenal I'm not saying they're bad. Phenomenal. Ba, I'm ba, like ba, an Phenomenal. Ba, 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 ba. Good, Franklin. Academy ruins. It's not the academy we wanted, but it's an academy we'll take. <laughs> it's true. I'd like to thank the academy. Ooh, nothing in here though. Take a wear tear just in case. Oh, I thought this was it for a second. I got so excited. Let's take Winter Orb. <clears throat> that could be dirty. We could do him dirty. Yo, Winter Orb, huh? Okay, Orzov Signet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted. That's, that's what we wanted. One. We were hoping that would come back. And we kind of knew it would. Well, I mean, it's terrible unless you're literally playing our deck. So. Yeah, that's why I was like, this is coming back. And then it did. Got him. Well, come back. I'll welcome you back. Also, just so you guys know, who are, if you're watching on YouTube, Mike is playing a poker game on his phone with some. Yeah, I'm trying to interact as much as possible, but it's a little hard because we're it's down okay. To just four give people. us your give us your sweet. Yeah, you're almost in heads up mode now. Well, not quite. Almost. Also, man. tonight since there's only so many players, we're only paying out the top two, so. So you got to get in there. Uh huh. Are you done with those wings, man? For now. Don't you spell them, man? I'm not gonna spell them. Well, what if they get knocked off that and they just fall all over the couch, man? Oh, no, put them right here on the table. Okay, yeah, that's that makes fine. more sense anyway. Uh, I think we'll take duress. Well, Neil Spires lets us play this wear tear, so actually, Banefire seems decent. We could stop, Hunter. Hunter, leave your boy alone. Jesus, he just won't stop. Go. Okay, well, none of these sideboard cards are good. These are good seven, plus the two lands. I'm all right with it. <clears throat> Ugin, Batterskull. <coughs> I mean, Ugin's a good. Ugin's a real good payoff for for this deck. Also, Psalm Simulacrum's nice. I don't think it's coming back, though. But I would take a Flooded Strand. I'll take an Ugin. That's a solid, solid gentleman. Mind Slaver. Oh, Telerian Academy! Oh yeah, baby. That's and we cool. got and we got the potential for Mind Slaver to come back. Let's try it. It might. Let's do it. Walking Ballista. Oh, Thirst for Knowledge seems perfect in this deck. Yeah, we're taking Thirst for sure. Seems good. My mouth is on fire. This mouth is on fire. <clears throat> you know that song? Is that Alicia Keys? Which one was the hot one? The Mango Habanero or the other one? They're both... Fair. Well, the other one was really hot, so it's still stuck in my mouth you know what i mean guys do we go for the shell dock aisle 
Or do we try to tinker? <sighs> Shellock's good with Blightsteel. We don't get both. Blightsteel might table. Blightsteel actually might table. All right, we'll Sheldock here. Without Tinker, I think I think Sheldock's just better. But we do have Metalworker, Thorandino, and Grimaldo. Easy, but you don't. So. <clears throat> Come and knock on Mike's door. I'll be waiting for you. This pack's a little rough, but Sword is just fine. Doretti's also good. You have literally it's... one colored card, technically. <coughs> well, sure. Sword actually seems good. I'm going to take Sword. It's an artifact. It's one of the better swords, so. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his, it's Michael B2. Celestia Signet. Oh, boy! Taking it. Wow, this deck is building itself guys we did it living the dream Mitra's factory also brawl but I don't think brawl is that great let's take Mitra's factory <clears throat> how how would I Cassius how would I not see that that tinker I'm looking for it <sighs> that's my impression of Michael it's pretty good now we just need a target for your tinker. A target for your tinker. Well, that's good because Mitchell sure isn't helping over there. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to win me poker game. No, that's fine. You're good. Also, just enjoy my presence, you know? No, I'm good. Well, not you necessarily. I don't care about you. Got him. Duretti could... Oh! Wow! Dark Poet Bill, are you passing us? Chucking on french fries over here. Oh, oh boy. Ooh, that was rough. <clears throat> I'll take Splatter Bluff just in case. I don't think Gifts and Givens any good here, so. Mind Slaver came back. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Also, solid Tinker Target. And we have both Academy Ruins, Talarian Academy, and Mishra's Workshop. Um, this pack's pretty unimpressive. I'll take Path, I guess. Same thing with this pack. We'll take Mana Tithe. We're just taking white cards, so we're maybe white red. White blue, rather. This Michael B2. Do, 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 do. This deck is not unimpressive. Who said that? Did someone say that? I'll take a Wrath of God. <clears throat> Blight Boy is gone, sadly. Also, we need a lot of playables here. Mox Ruby is definitely a playable. <sighs> Jesus. Are you getting blown out? He rivered the flush. What a little bitch. Yeah, I'm still in the game. Still sucks. Mox Diamond is a playable. Demir Signet is a playable. We do need some big fatties. We need some payoffs. I think it's Demir Signet here. Yeah, we'll take Demir Signet over Mox Diamond. I like a Lightning Greaves. Hmm. I also do like a Boros Signet. I think Lightning Greaves will probably come back, but I'm going to take the Boros Signet. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx? Well, that's a solid payoff. Not bad. Yeah, I'm taking that for sure. <clears throat> also two of our signets are white so that's pretty good if we want to splash that thank path you. or wolf pack thank you so much for the sub really appreciate it welcome welcome
Wrath and Path. I mean, without any fixing lands, we just have Spire Bluff. It's Nahiri's a little rough, but. Oh yeah, that's what we want to see. That's your boy. It's an Inkwell Leviathan. That's beautiful. That's a great pickup. I've returned with cake, Katie, my dear. Do 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 Michael B. Up in the tree. That's where he'll be. Michael B. We still need quite a few picks here. I think Dismember is probably correct. Thing in the Ice is never going to flip. Which member? This one, Michael. Nice. Oh, Kuldotha Forge Master. Actually seems very good. Also, Umazawa's Jitte. Not bad. What up, Dead Baker? It's been alright. It's been alright. It's been alright. I mean, Thassa's Oracle is just a card we can play. It's not impressive, though. I mean, we can actually just play the white cards and, like, well, like we don't need to be mono blue here, so. We'll stay Gideon. Everyone's playing super tight now. Oh, Emery came back. Oh, wow. This might be longer than I thought. Living the dream here. <clears throat> Everyone's what? Playing super tight? Yeah, people are getting a lot more tight. Search for Escanta is actually probably fine here. Porcelain Legionnaire? You're actually okay. Or at least they're less likely to continue <clears throat> on the top. Which I've milked Take a bit, face but fitters. would like to get paid when I hit. I want to get paid when I hit. I mean, you hit a big hand, man. You want your opponents to call you. Why are you going to pick Tez? Did I just miss a Tez? I probably did. What did you pick over it, though? That's Buddy, the question. I don't even know, Oh, man. you got a good Tinker Target now. Nice. I guess you already had Mind Slayer, which is pretty decent. Your, your mother's a Mind Slayer, Michael. Oh, shit. Oh, Emery over Tez? Yeah, I think Emery's correct. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, being able to cast <clears throat> any artifact from your graveyard again is pretty pretty brutal. The old computer hand. Queen 7. What does that mean? It's one of the most common hands. Really? Yep. Huh. It's not good, but it's common. Why so? Why is, this, why is it common? I don't actually know. I could be wrong in the description, though. Michael, answer me. Why is it common? Are you common? Got him. Fuck, dude. That was brutal. I'm sorry I had to do it. Did you? <sighs> you piece of shit. <laughs> How many artifacts do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, now I got kings. 13, 14, 15, artif 16 artifacts? 15 artifacts? It's pretty high. <clears throat> why is that the average though? Like if, if there's four of every card in the deck, why would you get why would that be the average? Yeah, Josh, that's literally what I was thinking. I'm like, wait, it's not like dice where, like, the numbers add up to a higher combination of seven than they do anything else. So I'm like, how is queen seven the more the average when, like, all cards are equal? Average power level? Is that true? Seven, eight, nine, ten, jack. Really? That seems low. Because you can't even form a, you can't even get straight with that. Right, Michael? Search seems pretty rough, right? It's uh you can really and put the really non land non creature card. Actually we're gonna hit a lot, so <clears throat> Um we have I'm actually tempted to just play Bane Fire and see if we can just Bane Fire them out for like a million. You got a lot of mana. Seems ambitious though.
Two of our signets make white, which is very nice. Uh, first place is going to get 160. Second place is going to get 80. That's still a lot. <clears throat> I mean, even if I get second, you still made 60, I made bucks. 60 bucks. Yeah. Even if he gets, even if I get second, he says, <laughs> the confidence. He's a confidence man. I mean, I I feel like my game gets better the less people I play. You mean the fewer people to play? Yes. Yeah. I feel like I'm a better uh, heads ups guy. I'm a heads up guy. Heads up poker is very. They call me very, Jimmy the heads up very guy. Different than regular poker. I think I want to take search out and bring in like Gideon, just as another like win con that can hold sword. <sighs> You okay, man? You explode? Some guy's complaining about not hitting his flush draw. I'm like, it's hard to hit a flush, buddy. They don't make it easy, my dude. I'm going to take out the black. It's harder to hit than a straight, and the straight's pretty hard to hit. And a white and a blue. So this is five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight sources of white with signets. And this is five, six, seven, eight, nine sources of blue. Yeah, let's do that. I come for the magic and then I stay for Mike B eating wings <laughs> on stream. I think I might be done eating wings. Forever? Well, for now, I think I might be full. Hmm. Would you eat, like 14? I don't know. I didn't do the math. How are you casting Citadel, uh, Tinker? Which means I'll be in my opening hand right now. Uh, this is actually a pretty good hand. Okay, I'll, I'll sneak it. We also have Demir Signet and Orzov Signet, so that's two black. I don't think we have a way to get a third black, though. Yeah, we can shell dock it. Pop it, lock it, and shell dock it. Oh, wow. Did you keep this? Is this a seven keep? Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay. Is winner a good, good? I guess it probably is because of all the artifacts, right? Is what is? Winner or winner? Yeah. yeah, we got a bunch of artifact mana. <clears throat> I don't think you go nuts and play on turn two, but. Not only was it not in my opening hand, we were going to hope to shell dock it. Do you even uh, have black lands? No. No, oh, okay. Ah, uh, Ugin. Wow. Ugin underneath. That's a good one. Wow. Do you still want to have under there? It's like I miss my... like, And having both of these in my hand is pretty brutal. I'm second turn Mystic, huh? Here comes a questing beast. Here comes a questing beast. Winter Orb is a hateful HCA. Oh wow, look, it was exactly a questing beast. Man, you're so good at this. Yeah, I'm real good at it. Tinker, and our two good Tinker targets are here. Our second, our third best Tinker target is right here. Yeah, and Mind Slaver doesn't work because you, you don't have the mana to activate it. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, this, the every, this is the everything that could go wrong game has. Yeah. So that's cool. <sighs> Make a winner orb. I don't even know if that's good. Tinker seems terrible. I mean, if I had like a worm coil or a sundering titan, I'd be convinced to do it because that'd be decent. But like literally having both of these, <clears throat> you really need to stop speaking this evil into existence. Well, you know, Just don't buddy. Don't say it. Maybe it won't happen, man. 
Is that true? You believe that? You believe, One can help. You believe that bullshit, Michael? <sighs> yeah, I don't think there's any way you can win this game. You don't really have ketchup cards. Nope. You don't even put ketchup on your cards. I don't. Let's see what I would have been able to get. Bullsittal, Mind Slaver, Inkwell, called off the Forge Master. I guess we could have gotten Metamorph, but that's like... I don't think that's that great. I like Path here. Path and Wrath both seem very good. Let's take a Gideon for Wrath. I think Path should just probably be in here. I take those. I keep winning a lot of tiny pots. It's... I don't know what they're saying right now. What? What they say? I take the a question mark. I take those. I don't know. I don't know what they're saying. <clears throat> Tap two mana and concede. Uh. Oh, okay. I have no idea. They're complaining about you were tanking, I guess. What? No. <clears throat> Is it? Is it that funny? Like. <laughs> Apparently, it's hilarious. It's super weird, right? This guy might be a Nigerian prince. <laughs> Oh shit, see that's funny. Am I gonna draw this every fucking game? Apparently. <clears throat> it's unreal, dude. Here comes Inkwell Leviathan. <clears throat> yep, seems fine. Oh, interesting. I've never watched the league. Wait, what? Oh, sure. Can't be prevented. Seems good. Oh 
Show me the river again, Jesus Christ. Yep, that's hard to deal with. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because we couldn't have swung. I guess we could have swung into it, yeah. That's... Well, we're not going to be able to face fetters this guy anytime soon, so. Uh, untap one. That's pretty interesting. This is pretty wild. Yep. <clears throat> Boy. <clears throat> That's a thing, isn't it? Untap of my lands. Might have to go out again. We'll take him out after this match. Here comes the Cidic Slime. Ruins all our best laid plans. Eureka, huh? Wow. Hmm, that's pretty fascinating. It's weird for a green creature to be holding a sword that's protection from green, right? It is a little weird. Yeah, this game's over. <laughs> yep, that'll do. Let's get a Talarian Academy. Oh, they scooped. All right. <clears throat> That'll do, pig. I should respond and be like, I take those. Uh, Mana Tithe actually could be funny. Just like your face? You son of a bitch. <laughs> was that too far, man? It was. It was a bridge too far, Michael. Dang. <laughs> was that also a lull? Are we lulling, my dude? I think I'll keep this. I was like, I swear to God, if it's Bola Citadel again off the top. I'm hoping for Wrath of God here. That would be quite nice. Yep, I'll take two. Oh, metal worker? Oh, Billy Biscuits is coming to town, Michael B. We got three artifacts. We had six. Then we uh, Ugin and negative two. Oh, yeah, just let it happen. Mm. 
like any Eureka here? Eureka's Castle. Sky Rivered again. You did? Yep. How you doing? How's your stack looking, bro? Pretty low. Is it? Yeah. Probably not going to win. Or. Oh, I've got eight big blinds. <laughs> or you could win instead. It's not looking good for us. Can you win instead, Michael? We're over to straight. Michael's always like, I don't think I'm going to win. And I'm like, just win instead. Why do you make it so hard? It would be pretty amazing if I win. No, the GG is from three minutes ago. That was for the last game. Come on, buddy. I'm still going to try, but, you know, it's not good for our hero. Are you our hero? I would assume so in this case. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I just found out Thanos is creeping. I see you, Thanos. You creeper. I guess if I double up twice, I might be kind of in the game. People just won't call me when I hit. Oh, Oblivion Stone. Now you dead, my no. Blibbity zlop, sklibbity bop. I'm pretty sure I actually just pass here. Winter Robe doesn't seem great. It hurts us more than it hurts them. And I'm not worried about their two lands in play. Especially because it's turn five and they're missing land drops, so. My Gulpy's Castle. You like Michael B's Castle? Yeah, man, it's my castle. Buddy, I know. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel like we're doing all right here. But I'm no expert. Oh, we just get the consecrated sinks too? Oh god. I hope they don't have a family. Or do I? I don't really see a reason not to play Sphinx here, I guess. We just get to draw cards. And they can't pop O-Stone next turn. What did Muchoka deed? He got 20 wings, some mango habanero, and some hot. I don't know what this is going to be. Eureka? Sure. Oh, wow. Wow. Emrakul, Blightsteel, and Ulamog in hand. Also, Primal Command. Why didn't this? This is a weird hand. That is a weird hand. Yeah, we lost. You're already out? <laughs> Would you go all in? I was forced to. Matthew, thank you for the Patreon support. Really appreciate it, my dude. You were forced to? Well, I was big blind, and big blinds were a thousand. 
and I only had 8,000 to start the hand, so I automatically only have 7,000. So I only have seven big blinds. So folding any hand is just, you just lose too much value. All right. Let's play another round with our sweet ass. I'll tell you what. Okay. From now on in any poker game. Obtain. Good games. Good games. Uh, what? I'll tell you now what. In any poker game, uh-huh. if I win 200 plus. Oh, God. Per, in, a, in one game? Right. So if I get first. But every poker game we've had first is almost $200. Well, almost. almost. That means none of them were. Well, no, no, no. No, I, I said that wrong. Every poker game first place, if we didn't split, so far has been 200 plus. Okay. Only tonight was the only exception where it was 180. So it was still really close. But we didn't have that many players tonight. So any game where I get 200 plus, I'll ship you 100. That'd be sweet. Fair deal? Yeah. Because you're still profiting and then I get paid off quicker. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Uptane, I never heard I'd take those, so I didn't actually have any idea, like, what you were saying. Here, wait, I'm going to alter the deal. Pray I do not alter it any further. I'll give you 100 extra bucks each month if I win at least one poker game over 200. Oh, so, like, okay, in addition to what you're already giving Right, me. I'm already probably going to yeah, give you 100 okay. a month. Yeah, so. that's, well, yeah, I didn't think... I started would... to do the math, I'm like, wait, if I win a lot of games, I'm giving you a lot of money really quick, and it's not... Well, yeah, but then I, like... But then, you're, I mean, it's not like you're... Right, just... but, like... There if, is a cap. I, You're just I paying give, me back. Right, but if I if I give too much of my winnings away, it starts to make it so the poker uh it's harder for me to bankroll it, you know. If I give, if I get if every time I win 200 yeah. I give you 100 and it's like consistent then it gets kind of bad. Not if you keep winning. <laughs> Dare repayment based on gambling. This seems like kind of hurt. Well, he's going to pay me back anyway. But this will just yeah. be an addition It'll on top of up. that. I'm going to speed it up. Speed it up. He's going to spread it up. You guys want to talk? Can we talk about Eureka's Castle? We could. I don't want to. Change my mind. We're playing against Sid Swarmy. I don't know who that is. Are we in trophy, Michael? If someone is stacking, you would typically do 40 60. Stack taking 60. I mean, we're playing smaller home games, so if you want to split with me, we're splitting 50 50. We're also playing it out because, like, our buy-ins are pretty low, and we're not playing for all that much money. So I'd rather just play it out. Now, if it's like a big tournament with a lot of money on the line, yeah, sure, I'll take 60-40. I'll put Tinker underneath. Plus, people don't really like splitting in my games, it seems like. It seems they're happening pretty rarely. They seem real. Yeah, they seem overconfident with their abilities, man, for sure. I mean, hey, man, it's their, their adults. They're allowed to gamble on them looks like I mean I've only won quote unquote three games out of seven I've played so wow humble brags <laughs> and it's still a pretty good winner for poker but like I don't think it's a ridiculous for people to not want to play against me <laughs> yeah I mean most of the people in the chat I don't know but one's an old work buddy <laughs> and uh so oh, we're, you know I mean geez. we're just friends so Trying to do 60 40 in a home game where there's not that much on the line just seems kind of like our opponent's really going to try to sneak me 10%. You know? Please don't send me on down the rat train. <laughs> I was like, it's too late. I've already called on it. Thank send you. Send on down the rat train. Have you ever gone outside? outside? Got to call on the rat train. <laughs> Oh, I'm saying, don't be confused. I'm not like I'm not like paying for his entry or anything. Uh, he owes me he owes me money from previous, so he's just giving me some of his money to pay me back what he already owes me. What Katie's? What about Howl's Castle? That's not the same as you Eureka's Castle. Howl's Castle is totally different. Don't confuse Miyazaki with Nickelodeon. Son of a burf. <laughs> yeah, me owing money has nothing to do with uh, poker. So it's not like I'm already in debt to him then I'm using his money to gamble and try to, that would be ridiculous. No, he just owes me money. So like if he pays yeah. he's going to pay me 100 bucks a month but like if he gets extra from from the from the gambling then he could just pay me more. Right, yeah. That's essentially fine. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Whenever Katie says something in chat and then I don't actually see it, she always messages me and she's like, "Read my chat comment." <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so she aggressive. wants you to know, man. All right, I'm going in for a little more wingies. Oh, God. I only got four left. I guess I ate 16 before. Jesus, what a absolute maniac of a... We're bone with, man. I mean, look at that. We're just chicken nugs. Not that big. Not, not that big. It ain't me, babe. No, 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 it ain't me. I feel bad, though, because my win rate is under 50% now. God, I'm basically garbage. You're a trash human being. We can add eight mana. Jesus. Tonight should be a, let, tomorrow should be a bigger game. Eight mana. I don't know how to deal with this, though. That is problematic. I wish I could send this guy. I want to start Facebook messaging you when you don't read my Switch chat. Well. <laughs> uh no, because this guy's not a this guy's not an artifact, so it's two, four, six, eight. And then it's nine, ten, eleven. God, this is such a pain in the ass. What do you do with Bolas Citadel if you can't cast it, you know? It shouldn't be in a deck because clearly all you do is draw it. Draw? Yeah. Oh, it's actually never mind. I was thinking Ugin was a was a dude. Oh, was an artifact. I, your soda's behind the water. Just so you know. Is that is that code? Are you talking in code? No. Your soda's, your soda's behind, soda's behind the behind water. The water jug. There's really nowhere else it'll fit. Guys, there's nowhere your soda will fit. I put it behind the water. So I wish we'd play, start poke games an hour earlier. We did that once and it was really nice. Why do we got to start poker at 10 p.m. just because it's poker? I don't get it. Hmm. This is interesting. I don't know what to do here. So we have 10 mana. This is 8. We have 9 if we play artifacts first. So we could literally go like 1, 2, Winter Orb. 1, 2, Legionnaire. This makes 3 and 5. Yeah, we can do everything. All right. You want blue Jesus? No, I'm good. Did you say blue Jesus? Yeah. Your own personal blue Jesus. Woo. Someone to be your Mike B. It is Mike B. Phone call is a bit of a problem. Send them on down to Rat Train, Michael. Uh, <coughs> uh. <coughs> wow. Meatballs now command. Yeah, man. Oh, man, spicy wings. You need so much water. <sighs> Jesus, he cries so much, dude. What are you doing with your face and your mouth and your and your mouth face? Liquid. Actually, we can go plus Ugin to yeah, ten. Block plus Ugin to ten. Block plus Ugin to, to negative Ugin. That could be good. Yeah, let me tell you, man. My chat has been just fantastic. Give me a receiver, I'll make you a believer. So Ugin's at eight. Do 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 So, we can't play anything. Of 
Down the mouse train? <laughs> oh my god. Send them on down the mouse train. Have you ever been a fan? Well, Ugin's at 10, and he's going to take one more. God, life is confusing. You're not kidding. It's wild. I think we're like one damage away from Uganing here. Phyrexian Metamorph is on the bottom of our library too, because we tinkered it, or we uh, Sheldock Isled it to the bottom. The mouse trains where the bad people go? I feel like the rat train would be where the bad people go. Okay. That is a thing. <coughs> Oh, that's very good. That is very good. Did you take a poop, man? No. You sound winded. Just trying to get down here quick. Also went up the stairs kind of quick. Well, that would... Would get you down here quick. I'm going to tap this in case we draw face fetters. Forge Master. One, two, three. I think we're dead. I'm going to scoop it up. Mike B, clear this up. One, is there also a mouse train? Two, if so, which one is better to be on? Mouse or rat train? There's yes. no mouse train. Send them on down, Michael. Mouses aren't as intelligent. Holy, Wow. <laughs> That's mousest. <coughs> Man, it's kind of like, you know, there's first place and there's second place. And no one remembers second place. Why is Mike winded? Because he took a big old shit. I did not. Don't I'm tell people I took a shit. I'd tell you if I did, man. Would you? Why would I lie about that? I don't know, man. We're just out of shape, and I ran up the stairs and down the stairs. What are you going to do? God, I'm such a scrub. can't believe I didn't... can't believe I didn't get top two. I made a big mistake, though, so... Should have shoved on the turn. Probably He probably would have folded and wouldn't got there on the river. And I'd be in a decent spot. I got to stop being a coward, Frank. I know. If I just had the guts to move all in, you, you never, you, you didn't, you, you didn't folded. Because, you didn't have them. Okay, it wouldn't be. You didn't have the guts. I know. You little biscuit. There's no way you could have called. It was a one. Could called? Is that a bird? There's no way you could have called. It was. Call, call, call. It was like a two outer for like three times the pot. So like, there's no way it calls. Yeah. And the only thing I lose to is that exact hand. But when people join the stream, they're getting on the red train, so we would be like the more elite train, whereas the suckers can go on the mouse train. <laughs> Send them on down to rat train. Oh, boy. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the rat train? <laughs> you should probably run up and down the stairs more often until it doesn't make you winded. I think that's called exercise. Um, so getting rid of Urza, like, doesn't, it doesn't give us any, uh, protection against Worm Coil Engine, which was our biggest problem, right? Like, I mean, they don't have Urza, but they still have Worm Coil, and we still have, like, two blockers for it. And Ugin is significantly lower, so, I don't know. Like, there's definitely, it's definitely a line to consider, but I, ultimately, I don't think it does anything we wanted to do saturday in, in the park, park i oh. think it was the fault of july people dancing people laughing might be selling ice cream 
That is my other job. Singing Italian songs. You know what we're doing? Yeah, we're doing Michael. We're doing I don't know what. Michael, are you listening? Are you going to tinker? Oh, we're tinkering, brah. Got rid of the black one. Interesting. Do well, I don't need cards? black. Yeah, I got it. I brought a Nahiri in. Oh. Is it Bolas's okay. Citadel or is it or is it Inkwell? Bro, it's just Inkwell. Is it Inkwell and then we metamorph it next turn? Yeah, bro. What if they play like Liliana? But that's the same clock, though. Three attacks either way, right? Well... You attack, and then you... No, wait. No, next turn we attack for 7, then we attack for 14. So You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm stupid. So, yeah, it seems good. Also, winning the game seems better than being cute. <laughs> I said choo-choo in the chat. Because <laughs> that's funny. And I got Island Walk. Tonight has been absolutely terrible. My Tinder date said she was bringing cookies over for our date, and she came with oatmeal raisin. I am sad. Hey, share from me, Frank. Matthew, Ori, that's actually great news, dude. Fifteen to twenty, not twenty-six. Sounds like I mean, like, obviously that's still a lot that haven't, but I mean, that's still the majority. So, tonight has well, been absolutely Mike terrible. State. My, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna read. I know Mike just read this, but I'm gonna read it. My Tinder date said she was bringing cookies over for our date, and she came with oatmeal raisin. Oh God. I thought I was gonna say like she didn't show up. Hey, buddy. You social distancing on Tinder with strangers? I don't approve. Also, oatmeal raisin is delicious. You know, you know what I like. You know what else I like? Oatmeal cranberry. Those are good. Yeah. So is oatmeal chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. I just like oatmeal. Oh, chocolate chip. It gives a nice chew to it. Made chocolate chip. That's oh. Michael Scott. No, that's too many flavors. What? Mint chocolate? Oatmeal mint chocolate? Oh. Yeah, oatmeal. oh, I like this Ashiok in the concede. I ain't trying to do mint chocolate chip and oatmeal. That that seems too much. Oh, we have a chocolate chip. Oh, man, my chocolate chip. Do it. Yeah, Ugin can't hit artifacts. Oh, no. Otherwise, I'd negative six that dude all day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big tip. <laughs> but it makes sense because you need, like, artifacts to get them out. And you don't want to exile your own artifacts. Josh, I take those. That's a little, that's a little uptain reference there. Oh, yeah, big money grip. That probably makes sense why I did not do that now. Oh, jeez. This is interesting. This is a turn three dynamo. I guess that's not super exciting. You mean turn two? It's no, definitely not. Definitely not turn two, Michael. Well, just draw a workshops. Michael, listen to me. Then it's a turn one. Can I just draw a grim model? That seems good, too. Oh, okay. Workshops is real good for dynamo. Monolith workshop path to exile. Not what we're looking for. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> All right. So I'm on a rat train. I'll see your swamp and raise you a chimney. Imp. Yikes. No one wants that. You can keep, take your chimney imp and shove it up your chimney hole. Chim, chim, chim. It. Oh, that thing. Chimmy, chimmy, ya. Yeah. Chimmy, 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 yay. That's Michael B. Every day. That's almost like the lyrics. I know. Let me cast this. Put a rhyme, so I'll give you play some this. I'm going to play this, so you can't be ratting me. <coughs> that slows down your rat train. I said, how dare you rat train against me? <laughs> yeah, Frank Shrews is my... How? Tell him. If he doesn't have a land, it's, a it's actually pretty strategy, good. strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Just thinking about it. Does he got tap land? Oh, he doesn't have a oh. land at all? Oh, baby. <gasps> wow. Now you don't have to tap anything for your dynamo. You can almost cast your Sphinxie. Next turn I can, boy. Oh, that's good, bro. Now that's a spicy meatball. The heat is on. I don't think so. I think the AC might be on. Frank promises Christmas bonuses. Uh, 
Uh, uh, this is awkward. Oh my god, Super Frenzy Bear, stop posting meatball in this chat! Meatball, 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 meatball. Was that your nickname in college? Hey, what up, meatball? I wish that'd be a cool nickname. Oh, there's this is the end. This is the end, my only friend. The end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Consecrated. I mean, you have to have a one man answer here, which is like pretty unlikely. Oh, because we... don't daze me, bro. Oh, that'd be brutal. Oh, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me, Papa. He's thinking too long. I don't oh, like my this. God. I don't like that at all. There's force, maybe? Yeah, it's probably force. Fuck. No, you don't force your daze here, right? This is not a. Yeah. Maybe he's a removal. And well, start... good match. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Winter Orb's a fucking hell of a drug, dude. Yeah, when it's good, it's good, man. Two O with this ridiculous pile of trash. Doesn't that make it not a pile of trash? I actually kind of like Nahiri in the main deck, to be honest. Like, being able to discard your bullets is so... For... Oh, I see. Well, we got Spire Bluff Canal, and we also have Mox Ruby, and we also have Boros Signet. Just three sources for one card? Yeah. That's not terrible. No, plus they got, like, Thirst and stuff. Play it over again, yeah. I like it. Greed is good. <laughs> All right, man. Let's try to 3-0 this beast. Hey, man. Tonight, poker. I mean, I, I actually lost on purpose, so I was just feeling bad, you know, so I was donating. That's super cool, man. Yeah. But I still played it out to make it look like it, you know? Yeah, you can't look you but can't see, look weak, man. See that way <coughs> that way, you know, they won't kick me out because, you know, it looks like I'm re really trying and I lost, you know. It's it's all part of the game. Spicy Jalapeno, is your name a uh, stream reference? I don't remember if yours was specifically based on the jalapeno memes, but oh. Yeah, okay. Let's put a planes back. We took all the two double whites out. Man, Winter Orb is a... Man, Winter Orb is a bitch. You're right. You know what else is a bitch? Consecrated Sphinx, I think. Mike B's favorite chip. <laughs> this is a classic. What's your top five chip? Kettle, one chip? Look how small we were back one then. Chip? Yeah, man. I think, I think it might, might be jalapeno, jalapeno chips. chips. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like like, like, like kettle, kettle corn, corn kettle corn <laughs> ones. Kettle, kettle corn, corn baked. <laughs> That's not <laughs> what it is. I feel like <laughs> nothing you're saying is actually Kettle corn kettle, kettle corn chips, chips with jalapeno. Are they kettle flavor. cooked? Kettle corn? Kettle, kettle cooked. cooked. Yeah, yeah, kettle, kettle cooked chips, chips that are jalapenos. <laughs> kettle corn <laughs> chips. Kettle 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 kettle. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> the sriracha <laughs> honey ones. <laughs> After all that you're like or maybe sriracha, honey. Oh, wow. That was the wrong fucking one. I was like, what is he doing? That was so bad. I played the wrong Mishra. Yeah, you could have done number one metal worker. Yeah, Michael, I know. Okay? Thanks. Oh, now you can't do that either. But in the future. Wait, can you? Do, 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 do. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. Can you? Yes, no. I can play this for two. I'll have one floating. Yeah, but you can only play for artifact spells. Well, I'm going to play Metalworker this turn, but I'm going to have oh. everything in play to do it. I was trying to figure out how you could tinker. I'll tinker later, Michael. Stop worrying. I'm very worried. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm playing Avenger of Zendikar. Gary, no oh, rip metal worker. Well, you had a good run. I feel like it's a bolus of citadel kind of day. Hmm. So three, four. You can't do that. No, oh, you're right. I hate that so much. There is a downside. You can use your factory though. Do, do, 
I just think it might be Inkwell. I just feel like they're making two guys a turn. I guess they can block the Nomad Island. He does have Trample, though, right? Yes. He do got Trample. I guess you might... Well, now you can't cast Tinker, though. Why not? I use this to make this. That's four. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I use the remaining one of them to activate this and attack them. All right, let's see what we got here. Inkwell. You got Trample, right? Your 7 Eleven yeah. Trample Island Walk Shroud. They make two wolves. They block four of it. Garrick goes up to four. I guess we just attack Garrick at the first. Yeah. And then they stop making wolves. God, I also think Bolus and Citadel could be real good, just play a bunch of cards, but I think Aqual still does the deed. Yeah, there's also random cards, you gotta remember. Right, yeah, and if we hit like two lands in a row, it's really awkward. We do have Thirst, though, so. This also kind of forces him to block if you want to keep his Gurky. And they don't get Basalt Monolith, so they have three lands. Alright, well. Is Feast and Famine pro green and black? Yes, that is correct. Oh, yeah, that's a good sword to have in this matchup. <laughs> Was I biting my finger? I didn't even realize. Oh, my God. The old good thingies, gravy, man. dude. Oh boy. This is where they get like Liliana, they go swamp, make a sacrifice inkwell. And then I feel bad about my life choices. And then I think the game actually came down to Misha's workshop because if we got this guy out one turn sooner, like it's just insane. All right. Make two wolves. Sure. There's a swamp. And natural order one of them. Uh oh. Yikes. Okay. Well, that was pretty rude. Three, four, five. Well, we were almost there. Nicky at the pressure group. Yep, I agree. This feels really bad. Yeah, natural order is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. New Garrick's not terrible either. Yeah, when well, you can protect it, it's pretty dang good. Protect it. Um, should probably get a red land. I mean, I'm thinking of shell dock. Oh, because like if we play consecrated next turn, one, two, three, we're gonna have four. Uh, Metamorph seems real good. I think we're just going to pass here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, seems fine. It gets free wolves, though, this way. Right, but, like, I don't think we're going to, like... 
The alternative is like they would fall prime as kill our Sheldock or something. Okay, that's actually fine. I don't really care about that. Yeah, because now we get the Consecrated Sphinx. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty good. And now he has good blocks. Give me them grads. Wish they had a island in play for sure. That'd be great. This can't be much different than an island play. They'd just be dead. Hmm. But now our shell lock is online, so. Okay, you can't actually kill anything of ours, so that's fine. I guess you can sack a wolf. Now I draw two more? Oh yeah, well let's do it. Oh yes. He does kill your shell box. Yep, but that's really annoying. Nothing you can do about that, though. Metamorph would have been really good. Yeah. It would have been pretty decent. Could have copied the Primeval Titan. Six. Got any uh, things that turn swamps into islands? I don't have anything like that, no. Any spreading seas up in here? Sylvan Library. Dude, if we can just land an Ugin Lake, it's not even... Minus six? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. I, I would actually probably leave this guy alive, even just because I don't care about him. Oh, wow. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh. I can still play it. I think we're just going to get rid of the Garrick here while we can. Seems good. Don't really want to give him any more free puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can play Legionnaire too. Might as well. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to. He does have a lot of power on the board. You get to draw two more cards? Sure, I'm game. One of them will be Bolas' Bull Citadel. <laughs> Just so you guys are now. I feel like there's a high chance. Oh, but also they have Sylvan Library? Oh, wow, Sword is insane. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yep, one more. Are you going for all six, huh? I Yeah, we have too many lands in my hand. So now we get to face fetters on whatever we want. I feel like the game is actually real close now, if, as long as they don't. If they went to nine, they draw three? Wow. Digging for a hoof, maybe? No, they would have hoofed us that one turn, because they probably could have just killed us. And also, you only just need to do one card if they have hoof. Right. We got six in the air right now. Actually, oh, they can't life. Never mind. I was gonna say Ugin plus. Oh, they just conceded. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Good gravy, dude. Yeah, because we just get the mind slaver them, run, slam their guys into our guys, um, destroy one of their own permanent. Yeah, destroy their Sylvan library, and then we get to go back to our turn and play Ugin because we went from seven activate mind slaver eight. We would also equip sword. Yeah, that would have been insane. You can literally just activate and pass because we just kill him in the air. Wrath of God comes in. Definitely. Path can come in. Yes. Let's take Bolus Citadel out. Sure. It's kind of clunky. I just play 41. Yeah, seems fine. Oh man, we're one game away from the from the three zero from the trophy. Oh, this hand is great. That sweet sweet trophy. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes when you eat food too fast, it gets stuck in your trove. Yeah, it's true. I know. Oh, you got a Mox 2? Okay. No, oh. that's just a Mox, not a Mox 2. Wow. 
Mox 2, this time it's personal. I also don't think I'll expect the Wrath from you. I don't think so either, but if they play like one or two more dudes this turn, I'm just gonna... I can confirm I'm eating jalapeno kettle cooked chips. You have good taste. They're delicious, man. Oh yeah, we're definitely just wrathing here. It's weird, because I'm not even big on jalapenos, but something about jalapeno chippies. Just get them. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Leave them on yeah, two lands. Yeah, also has natural order. So and they missed the land drop. You don't want to risk him ordering you. They also missed their second land, so... Oh, yeah, that's probably a good, good idea. Just do that, right? Like, there's no, there's literally no reason. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no, there's no world where we don't do that. No, 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 man. He's behind. Put the pressure on. End the game. It could have been cheeky and got one orb. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. No, I think we're trophying my my dudes. Yep. Oh, nice. three. Oh, my dudes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let's open this treasure chest. See what happens. I'm loving it. Let's open one. A Darien and a Null Rod. I don't think Null Rod's worth anything, I'll be honest with you. I don't think Darien it's is funny, either. It's... Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at patreon.com. It's a great way, slash Frank Laporte. It's a great way to uh, support the channel for $1 or $2 a month. If you can't afford a sub, if you don't want to donate a ton, just $1 or $2 a month. One charge, one month, a dollar or $2. That's it. It's a great way to support the channel. Coolstuffinc.com. Every Wednesday, I have a new article. You can use promo code FRANK5 and uh, manatraders.com. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to do that. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and su subscribe there as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.